Hello everyone, myself Soumya, Assistant Professor from CSE AML Department, MLR Institute of Technology. In this video, we are going to discuss about frame and frame set tag with different examples. So, the overview of this presentation is to discuss about frame tag and frame set tag. What are the disadvantages of frames? And we also seen some example programs of frame and frame set. So, frames are nothing but uh, we may need some situation where you want to divide your page into multiple parts or multiple blocks. A single web page I want to divide into three columns or I may want to divide my page into three rows. So, in that case or it may be customized or combined. So, one row will be divided into two columns, second row is divided into three columns and third row is no columns like that. So, based on the requirement, you may need like this. In that case, frames will be used. So, frame set is nothing but a collection of frames in the browser window is known as a frame set. So, the single part, each and every part of this web page you are calling as frame and this collection you are calling as frame set. So, it is possible to divide uh, a web page into multiple rows or multiple columns in HTML that is possible using frame set tag and each part of the web page is called as frame. So, what are the disadvantages of frame? So, I told you the frame is nothing but dividing the page into multiple parts uh, either as rows or our columns. But if the screen size changes, for example, I am using 32 inches, someone is using 48 inches, then the representation will looks like different. Why? Because I just divided this page into multiple parts based on my screen resolution. But if I check the output in other system, the it, it, it appears like differently. And along with that, uh, most of the web browsers, nowadays also, most of the web browsers does not support this frames. So, that is why it is not suggestible to use frames. How to create frames? So, frames a tag is used to divide your page into multiple rows or columns. So, if you want to divide the page into columns, then you need to use an attribute called calls, C-O-L-S. And if you want to divide it into rows, then you need to use rows attribute. So, how you are dividing? You are dividing into four columns here. So, first column is 25 percent of your screen. Second column is remaining 25 percent and third column is another 25 percent. So, here the star indicates the remaining. So, out of 100 percent already 75 percent is over 25, 50, 75. The remaining is nothing but star here. So, out of 100 remaining is 25 percent. So, with this 25 percent the fourth frame will be created. So, now here in the syntax the page will be divided into four columns. Now, we need to insert four frames into this web page. How to insert each frame? For inserting frame, we will use the syntax. Frame tag, what is the name of the frame? So, this is only for your understanding. So, if I want to give the first frame, second frame like that, you can give some names for your frame. So, name I am giving as first frame. And what is the source? So, what you want to display in that frame? So, already you have some predefined HTML programs or you have written some HTML programs. You just want to insert that HTML program in that part. Then in that case, you can use the source attribute. So, what is the source for this particular frame? What is the source I am giving? 1.html. So, already I have 1.html in my system with some content. That particular content will be displayed in your frame. So, this is four columns, right? So, my program is divided into four columns. In the first column, whatever 1.html is there, that will be printed. So, like that you can fill second column, third column and fourth column using the same frame tag. So, this is one simple example. So, here the frame set. So, one more important thing is here instead of body part, you are using frame set. If you observe the program, in this we did not write the body part. So, the body of the section or body of the web page only you are dividing into multiple parts. So, instead of that body part only you are using frame set tag. So, whenever you use frame set tag here we are not supposed to use the body tag. So, frame set I am dividing into columns here. How many columns? Three columns. The first column is 25 percent, second column is 50 percent and third column is 25 percent. So, if you observe the output. So, this is the output here. This is 25 percent, this is 50 percent and this is 25 percent of the screen. So, now you need to add 
three frames here. First frame, second frame, third frame. So I'm just giving the names as left, center, right. So this is for your understanding. You can give any names for your frames. So what is the first frame? One dot HTML. So already you have written one dot HTML that is containing some content. So that will be displayed here. So that is nothing but hello, some hello message. And the second frame, what you're displaying? Two dot HTML. So two dot HTML already you have written somewhere. Or in your system in the same folder, then you are displaying that. And coming to third one, three dot HTML. So here, if you observe the source directly, I am specifying as one dot HTML. So if these two programs are available in the same folder, that means consider your program name is some frame one dot HTML. So frame one dot HTML is available on desktop. Frame one dot HTML. And all these programs like 1.html, 2.html, 3.html, all are available in desktop only. Then you can give like this. Frame 1.html is available in desktop, but 1, 2, 3 all are available in C drive somewhere else. Then you cannot give like this. You need to give the complete path wherever the file is available. For example, 1.html is available in C drive in some folder called ABC. Then you need to give like this. So C colon slash the folder name is ABC. In that folder, your file name is 1.html. You should give the complete path of your file wherever it is available. If these two are available in the same folder, you can give the direct name. So once we will check this output. So already I have uh, created 1.html, 2.html, 3.html with some content. So this is the output I'm getting. So this is the first frame. So it is displaying welcome to MLRIT. Uh, that is a heading tag. And the second frame I have created with 50%. So it is occupying more space. So here I'm just printing welcome to MLRIT in bold format. And coming to third frame, this is 3.html. So here I am writing welcome to MLRIT in italic form. So these are all three different independent programs where you are merging all these three programs into a single frame set using frame set tag. And each part of the frame set is called as frame. So this is columns. The same thing you can change into rows. So instead of columns, I have changed it into rows. So if you observe, now the frame is frame set is divided into three rows. The first row, second row, third row. First row is 25%, second row is 50%, third row is again 25%. So the same content of 1.html, 2.html and 3.html. For example, I am just removing uh, 2.html from here. I am just removing, I have deleted. Now, if I refresh this, See, I'm not getting any content for 2.html. Why? Because that file is not available in your system. Even if it is available somewhere in the system also, you will get like this only. Why? Because you have not provided the complete path. So this is example for rows. Uh, just now we have seen that. And coming to nested frames, it is also possible to create the nested frame. So first, initially I have divided my page into two columns. And in that two columns, I again in the first column, I want to create two rows. So that is nothing but nested frames. It is possible to create nested frames in HTML. So initially, I'm just dividing uh, my frame set into two rows. The first row is 50% and the rest of the thing is another row. That means again 50%. So instead of 50%, I'm just specifying star here. Now within this frame set, you need to add three part, two parts actually. One is the first frame and the second one is another frame. So while adding the first frame, if you observe, again I am using frame set. Why? Because in the first row, you want to again divide into multiple frames. So again I am using frame set tag, but here I am using columns. So the first row will be divided into two columns. The first column is 50% and remaining thing will be considered as a second column. So here what you are specifying in that frames, the first frame is 1.html, second frame is 
2.html. So this is complete first row only. Now we have second row also. So just close this frame set tag and now write the code for your second row. So that is second frame. So frame name is equal to bottom. This is the second row and here you are going to display 3.html. So this is the output. So we have divided into two rows but in the first row again you are dividing your page into two columns. So once we will see the output for this. So if you check the output, so this is the output. So the screen is divided into two rows, but coming to the first row, again you are dividing into two columns. So this again we can change instead of rows, I am just giving as columns. And the first column you are dividing into two rows. So you can check the output. So here you are dividing the page into two columns but the first column again it is divided into two rows. So like that you can divide your page into any number of rows and any number of columns and again in that columns or rows also again you can use the frame set that is nested frames are possible in HTML. So that is about a frame and frame set in this video we have discussed about frame and frame set tag and nested frames with some examples. Thank you.